Hello and welcome back to my channel. People seem to be apprehensive about messing with the tension assembly on vintage sewing machines, but they're really quite simple. There are a few parts and you need to put them in the right order. Making sure that the parts are clean is key to achieving good tension operation. The first part is the barrel or body. Into that fits the spline. Make sure the opening in the end of the spline lines up with the centre of the cutout in the barrel and secure it in place with the set screw. Make sure it's tight. Put the assembled part into the machine with the notch to the left and the opening in the spline horizontal and secure in place with the set screw. Hold the barrel so the notch is flush with the machine body as you tighten the set screw. The tension spring has a little tail which fits into one of the grooves in the spline to stop it from spinning freely. Position this so the arm of the tension spring is at about 1 o'clock and then pull it back under tension until it catches in the notch in the body. Next, take the tension release pin and slide it down the central hole of the spline. When the pressure foot is raised, a lever pushes this against the plus and minus plate, temporarily releasing the tension. Next, take the two domed discs. Put the first one on the spline with the dome facing out and the second one with the dome facing in. Then put the plus minus plate on with the plus and minus to the top. Then the beehive spring. Make sure the tail that goes in the slot in the spline faces to the right. Next the washer with the finger to the top and pointing out. And then the numbered dial. Place this with number 2 to the top. Press the dial in while you carefully screw on the nut. There's a small nub that fits into one of the holes on the numbered dial. You should be able to turn the dial around until it stops at 9. And back to 0. You can adjust the dial setting by compressing the dial and tightening or loosening the nut until you get a good tension for general sewing at around number 4. Test that the tension releases when you lift the presser foot. I hope you found this video to be useful, if you have please give it a like, and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.